All right, this is one that I got requested specifically from my dad, so uh, here you go. <clears throat> this is like a sepia tone look. I mean, it works well for weddings, it works well for babies, and maybe senior portraits, stuff like that, maybe some other portraits. It doesn't work well for a lot of things, but I'll show you how to do it. So this is the final effect. I'll show you what it looks like when you uh, come right out of the camera. This is a raw image. No editing, no cropping. And then with a few simple steps, you get that. And I'll show you how to do it. All right, first, just like always, open up your image in Photoshop. All right, here we go. We got our image. Now for this, a lot of it depends on how you shot it. Uh, I like to shoot with the sun behind my subjects a lot of the time, so you kind of create that uh, little bit of a flare look, maybe off to the side, as you can see. The, the sun was coming from this side. So, with that being said, what we're going to do is we're going to grab our curves, which can be found up in our image adjustments and curves, or it's control M. And we're going to go ahead and increase the light actually quite a bit. And you almost want to find like a washed out look. I like about right like that. As you can see, the eyes are still nice and colored, but the face is a little washed out. It kind of gives it that glowy, angel-y look. That's what you're going for. All right, after we do that, we're going to go ahead and desaturate it. And that's just Control, Shift, and U. And this is your nice black and white photo. All right, once we get that, we're going to add our color. And to do that, what you're going to do is you're going to hit Control U, and that's Hue and Saturation. If you also want to know where to find that, you can find it in Image, Adjustments, Hue and Saturation. The hotkeys are just easier to use, though. Once you get here, you're going to see this Colorize box over here to the right. You're going to check on that. It's going to automatically set it to some presets. What you're going to do is you're going to drag your saturation down to almost, almost all the way down and just have a little bit of color there. And then you're going to drag your hue bar until you find the color that you want to use. You can get red, purple, blue, green, whatever. Um, for sepia photos, you want to be somewhere in the orangey, yellowy range, right in between. So I kind of like about right there. Once you're done with that, hit OK. And as you can see, we went from black and white to just having a little bit of that yellow and sepia tone there. So now that we got that, we're going to increase the contrast on a little bit. So what I'm going to do again is I'm going to grab my curves. I'm going to go a little bit higher on the curves. And I'm going to go a little bit lower. And that's going to pull out some of the darker shadows. You can see it pulls out the eyes when I do that. As before, and that's after. And that's kind of the effect you want. So, I mean, that's essentially it. We can fine tune it and grab some levels. Maybe make it a little darker here. Bump up our midtones a bit. Bump up our highlights. Yeah, that doesn't look too bad. And then just for like an added touch, in my uh, quick mask, small town uh, tilt shift tutorial, you can learn how to do this. But basically, we're just going to grab the uh, quick mask real quick. And we're going to blur out everything but the eyes, basically. And kind of give it that, uh, as you said, eerie, her eyes are in focus and everything else is a little blurry look. So to do that, we just select the eyes, grab our lens blur. And I've already had it preset, so I'm just going to go ahead and hit OK. It's going to apply this. It usually takes a little while depending on the size of the photo and how fast your computer is. My computer's pretty slow, so. All right, and we just deselect it. And there you go, you got that pretty simple effect. It's not too bad, not too much. And I think it's a little bit too saturated, so I'm going to go ahead and desaturate it just a teeny bit more. And that's about that. It all depends on how you shoot the photo, though, so it's all up to you. Good luck, and there you go.